Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're going to be talking about the spell Resurrection. All right. Um, we've already covered true resurrection. I don't I don't imagine we've got a whole lot of additional stuff to say, but uh let's let's do it anyway. What Sam, what does resurrection do? All right. For starters, you need a seventh level slot and an hour to cast it. You have to touch up thing that's dead. Uh, but it only has been dead for less than a century uh, and didn't die of old age and wants to come back to life. All of those three, things have to be true. Three second rule. Yes, precisely. Um, you then neutralize any poisons, diseases, and things that have when it died, which, listen, I'm not like a biologist, but I have a hunch that if it's been dead for 80 years, yeah. whatever things that killed it are long gone and different things are the new problem. But that's not neither here nor there. Um, the lack of organ tissue yeah that's probably more of an issue uh anyway um it also removes magical diseases and curses uh wait no it doesn't if, right? yes it doesn't it very explicitly says it doesn't it doesn't remove right. magical diseases and curses if yeah. the effects aren't removed prior to casting the spell they reflect the target once it comes back to life which is a weird twisted form of punishment um additionally as an additional weird twisted form of punishment the, the thing that you bring back it's a minus four penalty to Attack all saving throws and ability checks until it completes four long rests and it reduces it by one each long rest. So it goes minus four to everything and then minus three to everything and then minus two to everything and then minus one to everything. And then you're back to normal. Yeah, In addition, yeah. we'll go for it. I was say, who cares? I mean, you come back from the dead. Yeah, take a week off. <laughs> Good point. Uh, finally, casting the spell to restore a creature to life that has been dead for one year or longer taxes you greatly. Uh, and you can't cast spells again, have a disadvantage on all attack rolls and ability checks and saving throws until you take another long rest. Which, I mean, that last bit probably doesn't matter because if you have enough time for an hour-long cast of this, you probably aren't in the thick of things. So yeah. like you said, with like the minus four probably doesn't matter because you're like, oh yeah, bring you back to life. We've got a week before we have to go kill the big bad. Everyone take a rest, chill out for five days, and then we're all good right. to go. Um, here's the problem. Uh, I didn't mention that this costs a thousand gold, which... Yeah, sure. It's a seventh level spell. You probably have access to that. Um, this is worse than lower level versions of the spell, I think. I think that there well, are better. Well, we have to talk about this. So. Yeah. yeah. So, Revivify is a third level spell that costs 100 gold. It takes an action and it revives someone that hasn't been dead for more than a minute. And I have a hunch that if you're looking to bring someone back to life from the dead, it's probably a party member and you probably were there watching them die. Um, and then you have Revivify for that situation, right? You just have a third level spell that costs you way less, that doesn't have the weird gigantic penalties attached to it. That's just like, and they're back. Um, alternatively, this is something where you can be like, all right, shit, I didn't prepare Revivify. I guess I will, over the next long rest, prepare Resurrection and do this. That's just kind of a passive feature, but you could also be doing something like reincarnate, which we're going to be talking about in another video coming up. But it's like, that's pretty cool. I would much rather have reincarnate happen, but they're definitely players that don't want that happening to them. So resurrection ends up being this thing where, all right, I guess we need it because I didn't have revivify prepared and this just cost me 7,000 gold in the seventh level slot. And I should never, ever need true resurrection because of that. So that's nifty. Uh, ninth level spell that's just worse than this. So at its floor, it's like, than, yeah. Worse than worse than resurrection yeah i think true resurrection is i mean for two levels more it's not giving you two levels more you probably right, will never need true not, resurrection. not worse just not better enough sure not better enough fair enough that's a, that's a big distinction you're right you're right it's not like the, the text on the if it were agnostic of spell level the text on it is better than the text here yeah. um by giving you an extra hundred years of reviving i guess <laughs> um which again should never really matter unless you're specifically trying to bring back like I don't know. Like it, thinking about the context of resurrection, like, like in today's standards, you'd be like, "All right, who was alive a hundred years ago that I would care to bring back to life?" And the answer to that question is kind of like, I, I don't even know who would have a big enough impact, or I'd care to revive that way. But it, yeah, but see, if we got an extension, an know, extra hundred yeah. years. Abraham Lincoln. Was he alive two hundred years ago? Probably. Right? But what is that? Would that would be eighteen yeah, fifteen or eighteen oh, uh, yeah. twenty two? Yeah, it was definitely around. Okay, so it sure. was like 1850s, right? And that's, uh, fair enough. It Hope I'm not definitely making it stupid on here. Listen, same. Uh, at, the, <laughs> at the minimum, that's definitely a historical figure who didn't want to die. So you picked a good example. Um, 
And he wasn't poisoned. And he wasn't poisoned. So he'll come back A-OK. No weird curses or anything like that, hopefully. Ah, he might have been cursed. Probably. I just, I'm, I landed the boat where this very much so is something that, like, if you have a cleric, it's just a feature you get where once you get to level 13, you're just like, okay, if we ever need it, I can prepare resurrection and just have it, um, which is fine, whatever. I like to view it more as a service. This is something you go to, like, an archbishop to spend a thousand gold pieces and get them to revive somebody for you. Um, this feels like a, because there's a lot of spell casting as a service in adventure modules that they talk about. They're like, yeah, this is, these are the kinds of spells you have access to. This is what the clergy gives you. This is what the wizards give you, that kind of stuff. This feels to me like something you would seek out in a larger city or something, something you would seek out with, you know, some some of the most prestigious religious figures across the plane. That's where I would probably look to find it. I don't know. I think all of the negative stuff tacked onto it makes it so if you need this while you're in like a really time sensitive environment, like if you only have a day or two to go stop an evil baddie and you're like, we have to bring back our paladin who just died to the life and I was too stupid for forever revivify. So I guess I have to use resurrection. And then you bring them back and they get minus four or minus three to everything for the remaining couple of ventures. That sucks. Like yeah. the play experience of, well, we're going to go into our big finale and I have to resurrect you. So you get minus three to everything. Mm. Ew. I don't want to just be playing a character that's just three worse than everything else. I'd rather be playing that character just as a halfling instead of as a half orc, you know? I'd rather just be like, all of a sudden, my gnome is a high elf and doesn't know what to do with himself, but at least he doesn't have minus three to all of his stats. So I don't, I don't know. I think that the penalties attached to here are kind of dumb. I think that this spell could absolutely exist without those penalties. And frankly, if I'm DMing this, I'm ignoring those penalties. That's because I don't. I tend to be with players that like to play the game and like to envision their characters and honestly don't really care about death that much. And they like to bring new characters to the table and stuff. But I've also played with plenty of people that get really attached to a character and want their character the whole 20 levels. And that's fine. That's a fine way to play. I know a lot of people that enjoy playing that way. I don't think if you're in that table, you really need to enforce those penalties. I think you'll be perfectly fine just saying, we spent a grand on this. We spent a seventh level slot on this. We did some, you know, there was some kind of small event of getting to make sure the body was intact and everything like that and make sure I could bring them back to the dead. There was some amount of stress and like issues that came around it that it's not, you don't need to include the penalties without it being an issue. I think the you know, the time sensitive issue you talked about is as unlikely as a lot of the hypothetical stuff that I come up with to make other spells sound usable. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's an issue. I agree. I think more or less always revivify will do just fine and if like and for that reason alone just you can as a cleric just for posterity's sake bank a third level spell slot and be ready with in a third level prepared and a third level slot just have that set aside with revivify and you will never ever 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 need to cast this however um you could be that cleric that other people bring their dead to true to, uh, make some sweet coin and you'll find a lot of, you could also, just, I'm saying if you're a charlatan and you're into this kind of thing, uh, this is a very easy way to be like, oh, I tried to get the spirit back, but he was unwilling. Anyway, that was a very expensive procedure I just undergone, so I will need that thousand gold that you paid oh, up front. Sorry so, about it for your loss. Take the body elsewhere. He's doing fine. He'll, he'll wake up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some cool plot hooks around the idea of the services of casting this as well. And yeah, you absolutely could still like, yeah, in my downtime, uh, people bring me 1500 gold and I just have a stash of diamonds that I bought on like stockpiled and then I provide people for them and I'm doing the world a favor and also making some coin to pay the bills yeah all right um are we done I mean there's not a whole lot else to say it's yeah. I pretty much land in the camp this isn't revivify and revivify is the best option you have for bringing people back uh if you need it you have it it's not as bad as true resurrection because it doesn't cost you a ninth level like you knew this earlier um, it's not as good as reincarnate because I think reincarnate is more fun and a lower level uh, and doesn't have the weird penalties attached to it. But overall, I don't know. Resurrection existing is just a passive feature that you have access to. So that's a mi minimum rank of two out of five. It, you'll sometimes need it. You can do some cool gold making schemes off of it, I guess. Um, this is, I don't think, like groundbreaking in the bringing people back to life department, though. Yeah. I'll, I'll do my usual home go up one up. I'll, uh, I'll give it a three. I think it is a. Like you said, yeah, Revivify is going to be the best thing to use most of the time, but sometimes it's not going to be an option. If you still want your same character back, Resurrection's where it's at. If or, you can get their body. Yeah. Or make some sweet cash. Or make some sweet, sweet cash. All right. Well, thank you, Sam, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. That was Resurrection, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. 
Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it, a gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.